Hey, Thunder here. Uh, just thought I'd hit a few points that are coming up uh, here at the end of the week. And going to talk about the Campfire Council a little bit. Notice the logo, the uh, logo on this video is the Campfire Council. And we'll talk about that in a second. Did you, did you see what happened with the uh, financial thing? The Fed didn't, couldn't raise interest rates, not even one quarter of 1% for fear of crashing the economy. So the cat's out of the bag. That's an old term. The cat's out of the bag. Uh, it's evident that all this stuff that the mainstream media and you know, all these people have been saying about, yeah, the economy's in recovery and all this stuff, BS, okay? Just like Thunder said about, you know, when he did this thing on money uh, a couple videos ago. Uh, it's pathetic. And they'll probably, what they'll do now is they'll probably go into QE, money printing, more money printing. It's a blatant uh, uh, confession that things are not going well, okay? here or in Europe or anywhere for that matter, China. And there's a lot of reasons that they couldn't raise it, not just crashing our economy, but it would, it would have caused a chain reaction with China and everything else. So it's pretty deep and I'm not gonna go into it. Let's just say that uh, it's not a good sign, okay? Uh, the other thing, let's see, what else happened today? Well, we had Poroshenko, the Nazi Kiev dictator that America's backing, come out with some lunatic thing today uh, in his sanctions. Well, how could a dumb shit, uh, <laughs> excuse my French, little Nazi nation little uh, with a, a dictator, what, what difference would any sanctions make anyway? But... Some of his sanctions were, uh, oh, we're not going to let these journalists in. And he had a whole slew of journalists. Probably every uh, journalist in there is somebody that might tell the truth about something. Even some in America, his supposed friend. And lots in Russia and all over. And BBC is even up in arms about it. He made a lot of enemies with that one. I'm surprised he's remaining in there. He'll probably be thrown out or he'll... Maybe he's doing this to hide some kind of uh, lead up to violating the Minsk agreements and blah bitty blah on and on and on. You know, it's just a different different day, but same tape loop, only getting worse. Okay, it's like Thunder said. Now I want to get to the Campfire Council here, and I want to impress upon people that uh, we're a group of people that. Uh, we don't we don't abide by rules and regulations. We 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 don't go along with the government uh, propaganda. We don't go along with what they say. Uh, we're into all kinds of things that you might like. Uh, the Freedom Trail, I call it, and we do all kinds of things. We we post videos on survival and uh, we talk about all kinds of things from. Uh, being on the trail, being out in the wilderness, uh, uh, hunting, shooting, uh, survival, uh, firearms, um, world conditions. Uh, and we tell the truth because everybody's digging around. And then we, we've got some nice things on there like pictures of landscapes and the Southwest and uh, music videos and things that cheer people up. But the main thrust is information and keeping people bonding together, okay, in a unified fashion. And if you're looking around the world right now and you think that you want to, like, hook up with some people that are kindred or some people that understand what you're saying or understand what you understand about the dire situation in the world today, uh, you should you should hook up with us because it's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect everybody. And like, okay, let's let's uh, let's take this as an example. All these people, a lot of people out there, are, are 
searching alternative media and other news sources and, and anything they can and any talking head they can from anywhere to find out what's going on. And they're all looking for this big crash, this big, big crash going to happen, man. And it very well could happen. It very well could happen, but I always make the point that it's already happening. I'm experiencing it. It's happening on a corporate level and it's trickling down, okay? And we're all going to experience some kind of hardship. And Thunder's experience hardships right now with uh, his landlord and corporate malfeasance and abuse of people and seniors. And uh, man, it's horrific. It's horrific where I'm living right now. So. Thunder's kind of looking around for uh, another place. Uh, if you know of anything that is uh, low income, because I like keeping costs low so I can do other things, and, with, uh, and it's in a nature setting out of a city, could be a room with a private entrance, whatever. I might as well advertise while I'm on here. Uh, yeah. I'm open to it, and uh, I'll trade uh, for a little le less, uh, le paying out a little less. I'll, I'll trade what, what I know on a shamanistic level, on martial arts level, on all kinds of levels. Um, some people pay f lots for what I know, so I'm willing to barter and come to some kind of a agreement. I just basically, you know, what I want to do is I want to find a place that uh, has some kindred people and a nature, a nature type setting and uh, small, homey, until we get land for the Campfire Council. And we're, lo we're, looking, uh, we're looking in that area. And I'm also looking in Arizona for this land. Uh, there's a nice, nice little, uh, hotel available in a small town in Arizona that uh, would be ideal for a group of people and a headquarters. So I'm not ruling anything out here. Anybody wants to contact me about anything, they can through the Campfire Council. And the links, if you want to join, the links are below, okay? It says Campfire or Google community campfire council link okay click on that and check us out now getting back to the point here sorry i diverted my attention there uh getting back to the point of trickle down like i said i'm experiencing it and i know other people in the council and and others are experiencing this effect this trickle down effect of the corporate, the maniacal corporate octopus with its, its tentacles everywhere. And it's, it's showing up in all kinds of ways, a lack of jobs, a lack of income, lack of housing, lack of compassion, because the corporate mind structure is one of non-compassion and cold-heartedness and uh, buying and selling people and buying and selling people's lives, okay? Uh, so get a clue, people. It's, it's going to affect you. Let's just take shopping at the grocery store, for an example. Uh, you go to the grocery store here in San Diego. It's another reason I want to get out of here. It's a tourist trap. You, you take you shop here for like, let's say eggs. For a dozen eggs, it's like what two two seventy nine, two eighty nine. Hello, a dozen eggs that a year ago or a year and a half ago were a dollar twenty nine, and the packaging is smaller eggs, and all packaging is a trick now. So keep an eye on that. But see, this is just a sign of how you're going to be affected, okay? And if you don't think you're affected, if, if, if you think you just want to put up with this, this, this nonsense of uh, getting uh, screwed over by, by uh, 
the corporate people. And let's remember, all these supermarkets and all the all the uh, the, the, the truckers and 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 the railroads and everything are owned by corporations. And their bottom line is profit, okay? And they're having a hard time making profit right now. So you're liable to see if, if things come crashing down like everybody's looking for, uh, you will see no, no food on the, on the shelves, okay? That's where it's headed here. And you'll see bail-ins to bank, you'll see your bank accounts having a hold put on them, you'll, you're gonna be seeing all kinds of things that you thought you would never see in America. Uh, just remember, the Fed couldn't raise interest rates today. <laughs> and this trickle down is all gonna happen to you people. It's gonna happen as sure as the sun rises in the morning, okay? So you need to think about joining up with the Campfire Council here and people that are of like mind Okay, and we come from sacred tradition, but we like all those other things that I talked about before. Okay, and a big part of that is self-protection and self-preservation through being next to nature. Okay, being next to nature and living off the land and uh, bonding with kindred spirits like people of like mind. Uh, so you, you, you'll want to go to that link below and check us out. Now I'm trying to think of any other uh, any other uh, things that are important. Uh, it's almost like a tape loop that just keeps repeating and get, getting worse, worse and worse. Uh, if you really want to look for a big crash, you can really kind of key in on Russia right now. That's kind of a volatile powder keg situation. Russia and Syria and that whole situation where Russia's going over there and supporting Syria and uh, blocking the end game of, or creating an end game, however you look at it, could be, uh, it could get dicey. Could get real dicey because the USA and Russia are kind of going head to head over uh, what's going to be done with Syria. Never mind that it's a sovereign country and that it has its own president uh, that they shouldn't even be infringing upon. They're over there bombing. They're over there bombing. The USA is over there bombing a, a sovereign country. That'd be like Syria coming over here and bombing us. And us going, oh, that's okay. Uh, in, in the pretext of getting rid of some evil. <laughs> this stuff's so far out, you can't make it up. You couldn't make it up. I mean, how, how, does the, how, does, how does America think that they have the right to go in and bomb in some sovereign nation because they want to take care of an evil that's in that nation? That'd be, seriously, that'd be like... Uh, uh, some nation sending in a, a giant hit squad to take care of all the drug dealers here or something. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so don't think for a minute that we're living in a, in a free country here. They're just, they're, they're just, they're, they just keep on and on and on with you can't do this and you can't do that in our free, so-called quote-unquote free society. And they keep putting the thumb screws on us all with, with things that we can do and things that we can't do, even in this apartment setting and out on the street. And uh, we're constantly being threatened with the Gestapo tactics if we don't stay in line and uh, <laughs> toe the mark, you know, so to speak. So... Uh, Trust me, you won't even be able to, to, to go out and have fun anymore. You won't even be able to go out in society and, and feel like you can have fun without either being watched by a camera or set upon by cops that want to give you a ticket or pull you over or harass you or shoot you or 
it's if you don't see what's coming here um, or what's here already I should say it's it's blatantly evident that it's here already when you get into a situation where corporations start abusing people and citizens even in their own homes so this is this is the reality of the situation and it's all caused by what I started off with in this video the, the money thing robbing Peter to pay Paul robbing people blind rob 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 uh, corp criminal uh, criminality and corporations and, and in league with politicians makes it a fascist state makes it a fascist state there is no question about it. There is no doubt about it. We are living in a fascist state, and people have this illusion that they're somehow kind of free because they can go do certain things. But when it gets to the point where they don't have money and the system crashes to do those things, or it intrudes in their life, in a, in a very real fashion and it is going to intrude in your life people and that's why all in the council here stick together or should stick together even in some in the council you know we ha it's it's not always easy to support one another because there's so much pressure on each and every one of us but we have to do that we have to look out for each other it's a no-brainer. It's something we have to do. And if we're going to ask for, and I'm speaking to the people in the council right now, if we're going to ask for people to come into this council, we're going to have to show that we care about one another. I think I wrote uh, about love in my book, Listen to the Wind, Speak from the Heart, and I, and I, I listed all kinds of things about what love is and what love isn't. Love is making, one of the things is love is making room when there is none. And that means room in your heart or room, room in a, a, a place of residence or room, you know, just r making room for others. When there is none. And, uh, oh, I got a whole list of things in there about what love is and what it isn't. And it, may, it mainly has to do with compassion and giving and sharing and being like a family. Because sometimes your family's not even your family, are they? So we need to reinstitute that family tribal feeling where everybody looks out for one another. That's the goal of the Campfire Council. That's why you should join and that's why the people in here should... Uh, Make it make it a uh, imperative that we reflect that bonding and that caring about one another to these people out here that are thinking about joining the council because that's how we're going to perpetuate this whole other mindset other than the ones that we've been one that we've been caught up in. Other than the one that we have, and see, I've, I've learned of late that there's other people in the council that are going through hardships. Now, if, you know, if, if memory serves me, wasn't Thunder talking about pooling our resources and uh, getting land, and, and that's something we intend to do. We're looking at, we're looking at something right now in... Uh, in a small town in Arizona, okay? Kind of a, a, a classic old uh, motel hotel there that we might get some investors in. I'm going to talk to uh, some, some people about that that are on the council here. It's not out of the question to get off the grid. There's places out in Arizona and Nevada and Wyoming, and there's all kinds of little towns that are kind of off the grid. And so that's the kind of ideas we want to perpetuate here. And that's the kind of ideas 
that solve problems like that I and other people are experiencing, okay? And when Thunder talks about this kind of stuff and when he puts this kind of stuff out there, within the council and to other people outside the council, then uh, it's kind of like a test bed in a way. The reaction to, to a plea for help it's almost like a test, you know. How you know? Uh, how well can we uh, perpetuate uh, the precepts of uh, what we talk about? We don't want to be like those on the outside. We don't want to be the, like the government and turn our backs. Okay. We want to honestly reach out. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it there today. I talked enough, but for those of you that want to join the council, and that's the, that's the logo in, in this video, that is the thumbnail for this video. Again, the links are below here, and uh, it says Google slash Campfire Council with the link below it. Come check us out, okay? Anyway, I'll leave it there today. This is Thunder. Uh, blessings to you all over and out.